section uh, 1.1 statistics basics uh, this is the textbook that we're going to be using for this course is introductory introductory statistics and it's uh, make sure you have the right edition 10th edition so we are going to go over the first section first and talk about the first thing we do in statistics is when we introduce statistics we introduce the definition what is statistics is about why are we learning this how is it going to help us well the first thing i introduce in 1.1 on the left side the definition of statistics it's basically defined as the science of collecting organizing summarizing and analyzing information and why do we do all of this to help us to draw conclusions or get some answers to questions that we might have in mind or when we are wondering about so basically in statistics we need to run a study let's say I'm gonna try to collect the data that data uh, to make it easy to be studied we need to organize it there's so many ways in statistics to organize the data and after we organize it we try to summarize the data make it more or easy to to be studied and then after we summarize it and study that data we analyze it and then from the analysis that we get at the end we try to draw a conclusion um, from that data itself and that's our goal is to get to the point where we can draw a conclusion about uh, a statistical study that's what statistics is all about it's it's different than mathematics um, but we use a lot of mathematical terms in statistics so it's important uh, that's that's the definition of statistics now one thing other thing to keep in mind um, in statistics or any subject you learn this could be the first time for you to learn stats or it could be the first time to learn uh, take an, any other class every subject is a new language so you need to look you're gonna come across so many new terms new vocabs that you really need to know and to be able to proceed in the course so this is very important everything new you come across you need to really know it and get to know what it is and what's the definition of that term so you can carry it with you for uh, with you for the entire semester now in statistics there are two kinds of statistics we're going to be dealing with one called descriptive and one called inferential so what is descriptive statistics well descriptive statistics talks about basically organizing and summarizing data so you take you organize you summarize the data and usually this is done using graphs most of the time some people use numbers but most times using graph now how do they summarize it they summarize it by using uh, bar graphs histograms um, pie charts etc there's so many different ways to organize the data and then um, sketch the graph so you, you can organize it with the graph sketch it and then measure like other things you, you can do is deal with um, this can be applied to median mean mode um, range variance something we're going to learn later on called standard deviation so that's what descriptive statistics is about is you take data you organize it summarize it using graphs um, to help us later on for the study and we will see what what's the second half so that's basically so descriptive statistics talks about the first the half of the definition of statistics itself so we can say here descriptive statistics uh, is defined as or consists of methods for organizing and summarizing information as i said using graphs and that's what is being stated in the next step where they talk about uh, this includes constructing graphs charts tables uh, and calculation and the calculation of various descriptive measures such as averages or mean uh, variations percentiles as i said range standard deviations mean median mode all that falls under descriptive statistics so you need to uh, watch something collect data organize it that's descriptive statistics um, as an example if we look at this one the baseball season back in 1948 uh, they played about 143 53 games winning 56 and losing 97 they finished seventh in the american league and we 
we were led in hitting by by Stewart, whose batting average was 0 0.279. So it, does that fall under st descriptive statistics? The answer is yes, because what actually happened to get these numbers taken care of, you know, to collect this data and work with, you, you had to organize the data to see the players, how many they won, how many they lost, and put all the data together, organize it, and get to this point. That's called descriptive statistics. And that's this is an example of descriptive statistics. Um, so this is one of them. Now we need to introduce two extremely important terms. And these terms are the population and the sample. So a population, you're talking about the entire uh, data you are dealing with. So let's say you want to know at... Um, ABC College, let's say, how many, how many um, people like smoke, let's say, how many people smoke. So maybe this college has uh, 50,000 students. You're not going to go ask every single person. You're not going to be able probably to ask every single one how many of you smoke. But what you do, instead of looking at this, you take a sample of the students say I'm gonna ask question 1000 students so that's called a sample and what happened is the sample you're gonna study the sample and probably you might find about 10% of the students smoke and then what you do in this case if you find about 10 students smoke 10% smoke this you can draw a conclusion about the entire population so the entire population will tell me or the sample will tell me that about 10 percent of the entire population about so statistics about approximations it's about 10 percent of the students in the entire population smoke so that's what what this sample and population is about so population is a collection of all individuals all individuals or items so or all of them but the popul the sample is only part of that so you have the entire population you take a sample you study that so that's the entire population and you what you do you take a sample out of this you study the sample and then whatever conclusion you get you this reflects upon the entire population that's what sample and population are about now if we look at this they you, you can read through this yourself uh, that how they um, they were doing the voting and stuff like that but you can't interview every single person this is similar to the example i just mentioned but what you do you pick a, a, a x number of voters and then ask them if they voted for this thing or the other thing and then you try to find out after you organize it and summarize your data that you collected from them you try to see what percentage of the students voted for this thing or that thing and then you you can you draw a conclusion about the entire population that's what this example is about. Now, the next part is the next kind of statistics called inferential statistics. What is inferential statistics is about? Well, remember the definition of statistics is you're going to collect, organize, um, study the data, analyze it, and then at the end, you draw conclusions about this. <clears throat> uh, so what inferential statistics is about is basically you're using the sample data and try to make an inference about it or try to draw a conclusion about the population of the entire population. That's what inferential statistics is about. Consists of methods for drawing and measuring the reliability of conclusions about population based on the information that you can obtain from the sample that is coming from that exact population. It has to come from the same population, not any random population. And it has more applications later on in the later sections. We will see this, talk more about this. <clears throat> and uh, as, a, as a figure here, like they, they drew like um, a population, let's say, the, similar to the figure I sketched earlier, and then there's a sample. So you, 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 can't, you have no access to the entire population, let's say, or almost impossible to access. But what you can do, you can... You can um, pick a sample or draw different samples and then from that those samples or that specific sample try try to study the sample by organizing summarizing the data out and then 
try to analyze it and draw conclusion about the entire population. That's what this diagram is about. So let's look at this example and see, is this um, example descriptive statistics or does it fall under inferential statistics? So here we have the presidential elections back in 1948. Uh, they collected the data and then they summarized it here in this table. The, within the table in the second column, you will see the number of voters, as you can see, and what percentage of that does it uh, represent. <clears throat> so the first one, Democrats, represent 49.7% uh, of all the people who voted, and then uh, the Republicans, 45.2%, and so on and so forth. So what I see here, I see that they collected the data. They organize it in a table like this, so it's easy for us to see it, even if we are non-mathematicians. You can see that, oh, okay, we, we can see that we have about almost 50% of the Republicans voted for this, and then 45 point something percent voted for that. And then, so you, you see the data, how they, instead of just giving us like dots all over the place or just cantrons or something, they organized it in this table. But did they draw any conclusions about this? The answer is no, no conclusions were, were drawn about this. So this is really a descriptive statistics. So I hope this explains the difference between descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. And that's what this section is about, is to introduce these two kinds of statistics, what is statistics is about, and also two important terms, sample and population.